Hey guys, welcome to another Q&A video, Ask Singh episode 3. And in this video, I have tried my best to answer to every single question. If your question ka answer is video, then the community tab ki us post mein zarur hoga. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first question we have is, will IITJ help me in getting admission abroad? So yes, if you join test series, join karto, if you join any test series like Fit G, Akash, anything, and if you perform well in those test series, that could be even at state level, national level, or anything. If you get a rank, aate, that means that's a national achievement. So that will help you. And if you are applying to US, after your IITJ exams are out, if you have drop year or even if you're planning to take a drop semester, if you apply for spring semester, ke liye apply karne wale ho, then that rank can help you out and that will be a national or state achievement if you get a good rank. So it's definitely worth it and do take both J mains, advanced and even take other exams like Bits Filani because those could be also a good achievement. The next question we have from a commerce student, I want to do software engineering and I want to take computer science in college, what should I do? So if you don't know that for abroad, as long as you have math, with commerce or anything, it could be arts, etc. You can computer science. Pursue kar sakte ho. But there is one thing you need to make sure. If like if you're not applying in US or if any other country, you should definitely check the requirements for the degree. Kabhi -kabhi hota ki, ki, matab, if, you, if it's computer science degree, they might say that math is requirement, English is requirement. You, you will have all of them, but there's a slight chance that they will say physics is also an requirement. Jo nahi liye. So like just, just make sure in every place that, that you are following it. But my experience is 99.99% .99 of the cases commerce student with math can take computer science abroad. Is 1.5 crore worth for US education for masters, MBA or for undergrad? And my answer is that depends. If you can your university ki har opportunity if you can avail every single opportunity, every single facility that you have been provided at your university, then it is worth it. Otherwise, it is not. So let me let me give an example. Let's say ki meri company mein, agar kai, kisi bhi company mein, let's say there are two employees, one from Georgia State University, one from Georgia Tech. At Georgia State University, if the person got scholarship, then uski fees hogi twenty thousand dollars per year. At Georgia Tech, it will be forty to forty five thousand dollars per year. So if the Georgia Tech student didn't try hard and if Kind of like we are, I mean, you get the point. If we are in the same company, mein hai, and same, it's, it's like the same top 100 uh, Fortune companies. It's like not like one of the top best, like Google, Microsoft, and we have the same salary. So, just name, I mean, Zada spent here, just name, I mean, Georgia Tech, I mean, 1.5 crore spent kiya or on the other hand JSU ke bachche ne like 40 50 lakh spent kiya or like me or 30 35 lakh then like just ne zyada spent kiya he will say oh no kaash main usi university mein gaya hota kaash maine teen guna zyada four times more nahi spend kiya hota so that's the difference if you think that you can avail more benefits if you can get into a good research with a better professor at Georgia Tech because like there are like some of some of the best professors are there and then if you can get into like the better better company and better I mean it depends like I mean if you get into your dream company with either way like going to GSU or Georgia Tech it doesn't matter right so if you depend on that if you reach that stage where you can see that 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 you can see so you will say, gosh, I didn't spend money, but if you can reach a better point, then you will say, yes, I did it. So it depends. And so that means I can promise you one thing, that university is just a platform to find jobs. Whatever you're going to learn is on your own. You will learn anything, whether it's programming, whether it's communication, whether it's skills, data structures. Maximum skills are learned through the projects at the university, not by sitting in the classroom. If you can learn those things yourself, then you will definitely be able to reach your dream company, top platform, platform, uh, dream research institute, dream university, wherever you want to go, you will reach agar aap khud sikhna abhi se shuru kar do. If you start trying from now and start learning things from your own. Do we need counselor to apply abroad? And I think you don't need it. Aap universities mein khud apply kar sakte. You can manage everything on your own. But you may need a counselor or like a general English professor to check your essays. Like if if at, at your school personally, I checked all my I got all my essays checked at my school, and I I also consulted other other firm so that they can check my essay for grammar mistakes and other other things like that. So if you can consult someone, hey, can you check if my essay for this university is professional grammar or not, if there is no other mistake. Hai. And also, like if you want tips for writing a great essay for top universities like MIT, I have linked a book below which has 50 accepted 
applications for Harvard and 50 essays are in it. So you should definitely check that out. And if you want to get accepted to top universities, then you must read at least 10 to 100 essays which means accept in the top, top universities mein. so you must read those essays minimum 10 to 100 you can find online as well and then you will get to know ki essay mein hona kya chahiye, how a perfect essay looks like so now moving on this is from Vivek Singh hi I got into IIT Delhi but not my branch computer science but I want to become a software engineer so I decided to learn coding in my free time so I mean अपने 11th और 12th में computer science नहीं ली थी, so you don't have much experience, but you still want to become software engineer. And there are around one month left for college, so how can I start learning coding? Means where to start? So I would say कि अगर आपको programming सीखनी है, first of all अपना fear, lose the fear of programming क्योंकि बच्चे डर जाते हैं, like when they see a lot of code. So you can lose that fear by starting from zero to hero. Using hacker rank, literally trust me. Because hacker rank, me there are like levels. Like they will teach you programming from like print statement, printing like hello, and then they will reach to advanced. So you follow that, follow that, and then start with basic skill like that could be Android, iOS, web development, any skill. And I personally think Udemy has the best courses because I learned Android from Udemy as well because. They teach you using project. वो मतलब कहते हैं कि ये project आपने बनाना है. Let's say Instagram. You are you you want to make Instagram app. Use these steps. आप Instagram app बनाओ. So this was like so intuitive and you learn a lot. So you should also follow that tutorial. Best time to apply for universities. I think early admission is the best time. तो उसकी deadlines are around in November or October. So back in three years ago for Georgia Tech, I still remember it was 15th October early admission deadline. So it's coming pretty soon. So I'll say the open, the application khulti hai na, that open around September. So September mein you can see what's the questions, whatever you want to see, you can see in the application portal. And aapko submit button the wana hota hai before 15th October. So you can, so you can explore all the applications and fill it right away. So now next question we have is, I want to take admission in MIT and I, I'm currently studying an 11th science engineering branch and I want to do astronautics or physics in MIT. What preparation should I do? So I have to tell you one thing that my research ke according in the last five years, not a single Indian get, got accepted to MIT without national achievement. Like he at least had like Olympiads, like silver gold medalist or any national achievement. For example, Chitrang Murdia, he had all India rank one in advance and he got in. So with the ek to national achievements, state achievements are very important and at the top of that, like a state state achievements and also sports achievements, leadership achievements, these are a little bit important and also you can look into uh, Suti Khandwala's profile, so it will be linked here. So do check that out. So uski puri profile mein batai hui hai. Moving on, will more extracurriculars help or not? So kafi bache galtiya karte hai ki matlab wo har cheez karte hai. Matlab they try to do everything and try to be all around. Like like twenty to thirty certificates kate kar lenge, but at local like school level or district level. But that's wrong. I'll say collect only three to four. Good achievements, but at national or state level, because at MIT they have a limit. I think the limit is for five maximum awards or five maximum extracurricular achievements that you can put. And code, or when my time was, it was limit was ten or twenty. So like ten se zada ab awards ya extracurricular activities, leadership achievements ab nahi de sakte. So that's why it's not about quantity, but it's about quality. मतलब कम कम achievements हो, but should be at national, state. Level or even better than that. So that means you have to do less, but do the best and better. Now, next question we have is how much time it takes to pay back loan after undergrad. So I personally think कि अगर आप मतलब 1.5 करोड़ से ऊपर ज़्यादा loan लोगे, if you are like going into UC Berkeley, because that doesn't give you scholarships. That that doesn't give you need blind or need aware scholarship. So वहाँ पे तो 1.5 करोड़, 1.7 करोड़ इतना लग जाता है. So in that case, the time would be three to four years because if you get like hundred thousand salary, then you will be saving. Like अगर आप कंजूसी करो, if you are like living a decent economical life, then you might be saving like thirty to forty lakhs or even fifty lakh. Per annum, then you might be able to pay it in like three or three and a half years. But if you're like me who took loan for like barely less than 25 to 35 lakhs, then then you will be able to pay in maybe one year. So it depends like how much risk you take. So it, is it all depends on you. 
the easiest way to have maximum extracurricular activities matlab mera opinion hai kuch bhi easy nahi hai just go online apply for all the olympiads and also like do test series as i already told you ki agar aap iit ki taiyari kar rahe ho then fit g or any test series good ranking will be helpful and also one more tip i would like to give you is agar aapke paas work experience hai for example if you can get into a company and then wahan pe free mein ek do mahine kaam karo ya fir if you if you, if you can like teach students for free like लाइक बैक इन माई हाई स्कूल वहाँ पर ना मतलब एक कोई छोटा सा स्कूल था यू कैन वॉल्टियर टू टीच देर अगर आप मतलब किंडर गार्डन नर्सरी को मतलब अगर आप रोज़ वॉल्टियर कर रहे हो इफ यूर टीचिंग लाइक दिस गिवस अ वेरी गुड इम्पैक्ट एंड डू इट बाई योर चॉइस डोंट डू जस्ट फॉर द एप्लीकेशन एंड उसका भी काफ़ी फायदा होता है मूविंग ऑन इज इट वर्थ अप्लाइंग फॉर कम्युनिटी कॉलेज एंड आई पर्सी थिंक इट कुड भी वर्थ और इट कुड नॉट बी वर्थ डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट यूर लुकिंग फॉर अगर आप मतलब चाहते हो कि लाइक यू शुड यू शुड बी सराउंडेड विद अपॉर्चुनिटीज कंपनीज एंड ऑल दैट देन डोंट गो फॉर कम्युनिटी कॉलेज बट टू गेट ईजी एडमिशन टू दी बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक मे बी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया बर्कली जॉर्ज अटेक दैन दिस कुड बी अजी राउट क्योंकि कुछ कम्युनिटी कॉलेज like they they are they are so good and known that transferring to a better university is quite easy but the only problem is as i already told you that in the first year first two years like the two years you spent in community college the opportunities may be less now i'm not talking ki har har community college mein opportunities kam hogi but in some community colleges like in the first two years the opportunities might be less and you might not see many active students around you and that's the only reason and that's the only reason why students don't prefer community college they just want to go directly to the best university and enjoy their four years but if you if you don't have any other option matlab agar aapke sat score zyada achhi nahi hai and if you don't have good score in ielts or toefl then you can go for it but i will say if you if you're going to community college then just go for one year and transfer quickly because like you will have less opportunities over there as compared to a better university so now tell us about your dual degree experience so as you guys know that i am graduating in 3 years as an undergrad student and i'm going for masters so matlab dual degree ka kafi fayda hota hai for example you can get masters in one year and georgia tech has the same program 4 plus 1 this is called 4 plus 1 that you do undergrad in 4 years master in one year but i did undergrad in 3 years so i'm doing masters in one year and this is like very famous for math computer science because like in 6 or 7 years you can get done with your phd as well if you want, if you planning to so many students what i've seen is they get here they get their masters here and then they apply for like top universities like MIT Stanford Harvard etc for their phd and then journey becomes smoother because aapne kitni jaldi apni undergrad aur masters khatam kar li so that's 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 my experience and i'm really enjoying it so that's pretty much it for the first doubt clearing session and if i couldn't answer to your question in this video to aap us community tab mein ja ke if you can go to that tab you will definitely find your answer over there so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye Oh, oh, oh.